okay so here in this video we will discuss about decoders what is decoders in previous lecture we already discussed about encoders we already discussed about encoder actually when the transmission is occur when the transmission is occur so for this three elements are very important first one is transmitter second one is receiver and the third one is channel between them so in transmitter we used a device known as encoder we used a device known as encoder so encoder trans uh, encoder converts encoder converts 2 raised to power n number of bits into n number of bits okay it means that it minimizes the number of bits okay so that minimized bit is transmitted towards the receiver and then receiver minimum bit minimized bit is received okay so in the receiver side the inverse operation of encoder is done that is done by a device known as decoder so that decoder convert an input into 2 raised to power n output okay so what is the definition of decoder decoder is a combinational circuit that is used in the receiver side that is used in the receiver side and it converts and it convert n number of inputs and it converts n number of inputs into 2 raised to power n number of outputs its operation is just opposite to the encoder's operation okay so on the basis of on the basis of on the basis of number of inputs there are various types of encoders okay when when i consider when i consider n equals to 2 when i consider n equals to 2 at that time there are there are how many inputs there are four inputs and how many outputs are there there are 2 raised to power n there are two raised to uh, when in uh, at the, when n equals to two at the time inputs will be two and outputs will be two raised to power n that is outputs will be four okay so in decoders when we consider n equals to two so at that time input equals to two and output equals to four okay so here i am designing a decoder circuit here i am designing a decoder circuit having two inputs and accordingly we will get four outputs okay here i am considering input as i0 and i1 and the output will be d0 d1 d2 and d3 okay so to analyze so to analyze this decoder circuitry we need a table this table is known as truth table okay so here i am drawing a truth table okay this one is the truth table in this truth table how many inputs are there there are two inputs that is i0 and i1 and how many outputs are there there are four outputs O0 or D0, O0, O1, O2, O3. We consider it as O0, okay? We consider this outputs as O0, O1, O2, and O3. Now, because of because of three uh, because of two inputs, there will be eight possible. Uh, there will be four possible combinations of. There are there will be four possible combinations. So the combination are zero zero. 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay so when the input is 0 0 at that time the binary form of this 0 will be transmitted so at that time the decoders output will be o0 will be 1 at that time o0 will be 1 when we transmit 0 1 so at that time this o1 will be 1 okay and rest of bits are 0 when the input bits are 1 0 at that time o2 will be 1 and rest bit is 0 and in the last case 
except O3, all are zero. Okay. Now, after implementing, after implementing a truth table, we will find out, we will find out its equation. So first we will find out equation for O0. What is the equation for O0? To calculate the equation for O0, we will check the O0's column. In that column, only one is there. So accordingly, we will take the input combination that is, that is I1 bar and I0 bar. Is it clear? Now, for the second output O1, only one is there. So accordingly, the input combination will be I1 bar. Accordingly, the input combination will be I1 bar, I0. In the third case, O2. In the third case, O2 equals to, for this one, the input combination will be I1, I0 bar. And for this O3, the input combination will be I1 and I0. Okay. Now, by using these by using these uh, equations, we can draw its logic diagram also. We can draw its logic diagram also. To implement logic diagram, we will take two inputs. First input is I0 and the second input is I1. And because we need its complement also, so first we will draw, first we will draw a line, first we will draw a line. Okay, here I am taking one NOT gate, then, okay, now, this one is I1, here I am connecting one NOT gate, now this one is, now this one is I1, okay, there are four outputs there are four outputs so for these outputs so for these outputs i will take and gate this one is our first and gate this one is the second and gate this one is the third and gate and this one is our fourth and gate okay <coughs> every end gate is having two inputs that's why i will take two lines here same as for second same as for third and same as for fourth also okay now the first now the first end gate is providing o0 second will provide o1 third will provide O2 and the fourth AND gate will provide O3. So O1 equals to, so O1 equals to I1 bar, I0 bar. So from which, uh, from which point we will get I0 bar? From uh, this point, I will get, from this point, I will get, wait a while. Okay. So from this point, from this point, I will get I0 bar. From this point, I will get I1 bar. Now, O1 equals to I1 bar I0. I1 bar I0. This one is I1 uh, I0 bar. Sorry. We need I O1 equals to I1 bar I0. I0. From this end, we will get I0. And from this end, I will get I one bar okay now the o2 equals to i1 i0 bar i1 this one is i1 and i0 bar where is this one is i0 bar okay now o3 equals to i1 and i0 this one is i0 and this one is i1 so this one is the logic diagram this one is the logic diagram for this one is the logic diagram for 2 cross 4 decoder this one is the logic diagram of 2 cross 4 decoder. Thank you so much.